I'm uh, Tom Leonards, and I'm the distiller here at Wallersheim Distillery. Our big focus here is trying to bring the winemaking concept of terroir to spirits. And so uh, that's the taste of soil, the taste of place. And so our main focus versus most distilleries is working uh, directly with local farmers that are actually even on the same uh, soil type that we are. So we're working with uh, Joe for uh, corn and then Phil over at the Marks Farm for uh, wheat, rye, and white corn. Um, we're also working with a woman named Jane at uh, Four Elements who grows uh, most of her botanicals. She's about 20 minutes away. And so we're getting a, a very unique uh, selection of those grains and botanicals. The, I think the most unique thing you'll see is something like our gin. By using only botanicals that grow in the state of Wisconsin, it's more of like an herb garden kind of blend of um, you know, we have lavender in there as well as some anise and rosemary. In 2010, 2013, we started to send in our apple brandy. 2015, we did our pear de vie, and so that is uh, Wisconsin grown pears. All those ingredients have been local, and so our focus is trying to make a very classic uh, American style brandy uh, versus trying to mimic what they're doing in Europe or trying to. Um, you know, do something like that. And so we're trying to make something that's uh, uniquely positioned to not only use local ingredients, but also be used in a local classic, which is the brand new old fashioned. What are we, what are we smelling right now? <laughs> uh, that is what they call the angel share. And so that is the uh, alcohol vapor uh, evaporating out of the barrels. So that is the smell of lost profit. <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, so that's part of the maturation process. The alcohol expands and contracts, interacts with the wood as you saw upstairs, it was clear. Uh, as it sits in the wood barrel, it's going to pull vanilla caramel out of the wood, give it that brown color, uh, and then it's also going to uh, evaporate and, and concentrate, and different chemical reactions will happen during the maturation process. We're about to fill a bunch of apple brandy barrels, and uh, you can see this row is kind of hit already, so we pulled out a bunch of barrels. We're not uh, done figuring out how many we're gonna fill, but so we'll take this whole row out, put the youngest all the way in, and then the next youngest, and then the oldest will be here in the end. And that's partially just so we don't have to like rifle through it. When we go to bottle, we know where the oldest is, but it's also just, you know, for the fun part of tasting it, we know where to go. <laughs> just go right to the end of the aisle and you got the best stuff. There you go.